Congressman John Conyers, oh, yeah. who stepped down from his Judiciary Committee role after it was revealed that his office paid a $27,000 sexual harassment case. Now, House Democratic leader Nancy <laughs> Pelosi is taking heat for saying this on Meet the Press. Take a look. We are strengthened by due process. Mm -hmm. Just because someone is accused, you, and, and was it one accusation, is it two? I think there has to be. John Conyers is an icon in our country. He's done a, gr a great deal to protect women, the Violence Against Women Act, which the left wing, right wing is now quoting me as praising him for his work on that, and he did great work on that. Now, so the question is, can you separate, because what he's accused of is uh, she said that the, the young lady said she was fired uh, because she refused his sexual advances. So he paid her off. So he mm -hmm. paid her off. Right. He denies that that's the case, and as he has denied with everything. But is she wrong? Should we, should we make sure? It's that so people ironic are that that he is the one of the um, architects of the policy of, of violence against women act mm -hmm. in nineteen. 94. It's a very tricky yeah. business. Mm -hmm. You know, you had Teddy Kennedy, mm -hmm. who voted all women's issues mm -hmm. and then was accused of abandoning that girl in Chappaquiddick. You have John Kennedy, who also uh, voted for women's issues. And he was obviously he was, you know, you couldn't keep him his pants off the guy. <laughs> I mean, you have Bill Clinton, another uh, harasser, allegedly, who also voted in women's interests. I mean, it's pathetic and but, sad. But it goes to what Megan's point was last segment, which is, you know, there there can be somebody that is a good person that you love that has done good things, but that doesn't mean that they don't do these things as well. And I think we have to call them out on it. What disgusted me? But should they me? lose their job? Is well, the I, don't, I don't know. Well, I mean, more importantly, that? shouldn't they? I mean, is she not? Is Nancy Pelosi not correct when she says, "Listen, we do have to do." Due process is that I something that gets? Agree with that. The due does that get? Piece. Uh, but he paid but he out twenty-seven thousand dollars well, of taxpayer money yeah. in a settlement, which he has acknowledged. Well, they I don't want my money well, going to. They all that. do that. But though. taxpayer Everybody knows dollars. I like that. I was very uncomfortable me, with that. I, I, Taxpayer dollars. To me, it's not trouble. that they yeah. can't have done good things in the world, but now is not the time to recognize the good things. Yeah. We've been recognizing those for 60 years while these yeah. women were silenced. So yeah. right now is well, to just not si not silenced. They stay because two 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 people make a settlement. Yeah. Two people, two people but make I mean, a there are a lot of people that didn't make settlements too. That have been. Uh, I'm not just talking about the settlements. I'm saying there oh, okay. were people that were too quiet or intimidated <coughs> or risked things, and they weren't able. Right so, now is the voice. So what do we do? So how do we avoid uh, hearing something, jumping to a conclusion, and destroying, throwing the baby out with the bathwater? Did you, you just raise your hand? I did because like, by all means. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> by all means. Mm -hmm. What I was going to say is that I think it has to be on both sides. I agree. And because what we have in the White House is an alleged predator. Fixed women. After Anita Hill, we got Clarence Thomas for life in the mm -hmm. Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So the downside is too difficult to deal with. So if you're going to not want Donald Trump and Clarence Thomas, you can't have the others on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I because think Because it's too big a risk for the other side, for yeah. our side. I agree with you, and yeah. I think Democrats yeah. going forward in the future, I think this is the wrong messaging, especially coming from Nancy Pelosi at this specific time. There's such a sensitivity, and you're talking about $27,000 of taxpayer, I that's our like money. That. That's all our yeah. money going like to somebody for that. And I think that I agree with you that we have to be equal opportunists on all of this. No, but do we, do, but, but the question remains, is she incorrect by saying we have to do, deal with due process? No. I, I agree with her on that. It was Something the rest of it, which was, you know, listen, he's an icon. Well, he, well, but I'm sorry, he is an icon. Yes. And what she's saying so is, I, hold on, what she's saying is, listen, yeah, we got to take care of this, but I want to make sure that we do this with due process yeah. because we don't know what this came from or how it came. And a lot of Republicans I are saying believe, they want Roy Moore to have due process. I, and I said that last week mm -hmm. because yeah. I do believe that you have to have due process because otherwise we're all screwed. 
but there is no smoking gun in these cases. And this is not a criminal, this is no, not a but criminal you at investigation. Least, you at least this is want the court somebody of to, opinion. You, but the court of public opinion is not the court to listen to. Because the court of public opinion is divided politically, it's divided sexually, it's divided on so many levels that the law, I know, the law is all we have. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs>